Oh, can we have this sweet reunion later? The crazy person's still in there. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXX Chic, and we are back with another episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. We're now on season three, episode Deuce, which is called Prisoners of An Ancarel. There we go. So last episode, we kind of picked up from where season two left off. Dragons, very bad business. Vax went in to check to see if uh, Raishan's story checked out. It did. And they barely escaped with their lives. And now they realize they need to follow the plan that Raishan had of getting this vestige that apparently can hurt dragons because it's the only chance they have of taking down Thor, um, Thor, what's his name again? Thordak, there we go. <laughs> and um, anyways, they went to go get the vestige and that did not go according to plan because Ripley is back. And Ripley has a friend, unfortunately, and it is that damn demon that was haunting Percy for so long. So yeah, now it's them versus Ripley versus the demon again, possibly. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I don't like the idea of Ripley with the demon and with that vestige. So we'll have to see what my boys and girls in Vox Machina can do to get this back under control. So let's jump into the episode. But just before I do, a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know of when I drop these episodes, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification. All right, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right now. It has a name. You never bothered to ask. No. We destroyed it. You, you left it a whisper. You can't destroy a demon, bro. Don't you dare pin your lunacy on me. Come now, Percy. Take the compliment. And what exactly do you plan on doing with it? What do guns do? Share your gifts with the wide, wide world. Sorry, like, you should have killed her. You should you should have done it, Percy. You should have done it. You do not want to cross them. Nor their master. Think they'd take kindly to a coquettish wing? <laughs> right? Now that's a fan Shut everyone needs in their life. But imagine if there were a hundred, a thousand, more. That's chaos. That's equality. <laughs> that propaganda. No more victims, tyrants, conclaves. No more torturers? It's oxidized in a pattern. That's Eridos acid. We used it in the clasp. Oh, I'm Vax. I was in a thieves' guild. I'm mm -hmm. so cool. Can you hurry up? He said to make it quick. Where might a girl go for rare elemental acid? I know the place, unfortunately. Come on. Oh, no, you were sloppy. Surprise! We're not looking to the oh, air. I'm just forgetting it's not Scanlan. Maybe the, the lyrics aren't gross. Way. Motherfucker. Quite literally, but that's why you're here. Once the weak rise up, what's to stop the oppressed from becoming oppressors? That's why I need you, Percy. You understand humanity. If you fall for this purse, I'll need my hands. Let's hope he's just plotting for the vest. I'm mortally wounded. <laughs> Have you ever seen weapons like that? Uh, you know, in real life? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, Not Grog anyway. actually doing some recon. I'm proud of you, bro. Maybe 15? You were observed at the scene of Mistress Asharu's manor. Surrender, or be taken by force. Those, those look like scary weapons. That's some fancy magic. But then again, I keep forgetting that guy's got magic like it's nothing. Oh no! Sean is just trying to help. Damn, this city is on lockdown. Might have to rethink the whole shaking thing. That was a great segue. You're not making this easy on me, are you? Did you make it easy on me and mom? That's... How did he even know about you? Or incinerate a maniac. Oh, damn. No, we need him. No shit. I've got her. Do you? None of y'all have her. I thought I lost 
Oh, can we have this sweet reunion later? The crazy person's still in there. Saved me twice. What would you but do? Did you kind of inadvertently show her how to like do exactly what she wanted to do with the power source? Benevolent ruler of Ankharel, you are all under arrest. Hey, well, at least they didn't take you out on sight, right? It's kind of loud in here. You mind if we walk and talk? What? I... Great, come on. Don't get her in trouble. <laughs> but I'm glad he didn't take off because she would have taken that the wrong way. When I'm on stage, I'm golden. Straight fire. But when noticed. the loot goes down, I kind of, I don't know who I am. And I'm supposed to help you figure it out. That's not what he said. Calm. I think one more drink would really help me open up. <gasps> Bro, they were not even looking for you. You weren't with the initial group, but I guess he doesn't know that. If I hadn't gotten myself captured, we wouldn't be here. Well, to be fair, we did break a decent amount of laws finding you. Oh, just make out already. Vox Machina. You have been charged with royal theft and murder. Okay. She was but my do you, dear. Do I have it on me? Where's Where's the stolen property? Were you not here to steal them? Uh, technically, yes, but we uh, failed. I mean, that's honest. However, if you confess, I may show lenience. Didn't do it, man. But to sentence all of Vox Machina. To death. Stop! Again? It was me. Percy! I did it. I throw myself upon your mercy. I mean... Honesty is rare these days. That's honesty? Prepare him for the transformation. Ooh, what's the transformation? Is it is it bad? Oh, yeah. I just want to be in your wife. Uh, life. And you just got to tell me I mean, who... that was not a Freudian slip. Go back to your pathetic little adventures and leave me alone. Like I said, even animated is disgust. Ew. Yeah, but you deserve that. Exactly. Just step over that. Like, I blew it with her. Oh, Scamlin, I'm sorry. Uh, nobody gives a shit. They're going to Damn. kill Damn, okay. Percy. Well, I mean, his problems are still valid. Is he going to become one of those weird lobby things? Damn, my timing is just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's just ready to be carried. <laughs> Adorable. Miss Carver. Look into the blade. And you'll see the real culprit. Since you're all about truth. In light of this new evidence, the group known as Vox Machina. Still banished. Holy shit, Scanlan. I am so glad you found us. Yeah. Me too. Look, Scanlan, it's going to take time with your daughter. It may never happen with your daughter, but, you know, you do have a family. You didn't need to take the blame. But I am to blame for what I, I made. felt it inadvertently responsible. Seeing that demon, my demon, what? still alive. He's possessive now, or adjectives there. It's hers now. She can keep that demon. That would be true if she had actually stolen the plate of the Don Martyr. I was thinking um, it shouldn't just sorry? break with electricity. I hid it in a place beyond even Thordak's reach. Are you familiar with the Hells of Despa? No, because why the hell would I go to a place named Hell? The plate is with a demon called Xerxes Ilares, oh. an antiquities collector in the city of Dis. What hell? Do we have to go to Hell? Oh. Oh. I mean, oh, it'll. Oh, sorry. That's right. I forgot her boob got hit. Oh. But yeah, I mean, really, it's just going to prep you for being around Dragonfire, no? I mean, if you can handle hell, then anything Thordak throws at you is going to be cakewalk, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was episode two. Very good. Uh, yeah, we see that huh, despite everything that's going on, Ripley is still in the same greedy megalomaniac mindset she was in all those years ago when she tortured children to get access to resources that she felt she needed for her science. And yeah, as mentioned, unfortunately, she's got Orth, Orth, what's the name? Orthax, whatever the name is. Yeah, Orthax working with her. But from the sounds of things, Orthax does not just want to work with her. Like he either wants to be back with Percy or revenge on Percy. A little of both though. But I think Orthax misses Percy from the sounds of, I remember that uh, what he was saying um, about how, oh, 
uh, it's inevitable. He'll be mine. Like I think Orthax wants to jump, even though it's it's helping Ripley right now because obviously Ripley is keeping it alive. But I think Percy's kind of yeah. It's one of those very what do you call it? A parasitic relationship, shall we say? A very detrimental one. But anyways, so basically because she wants to mass produce these guns, it's the, the allusions to the real world. <laughs> well done. Well done, Critical Role, but also very scary about, yes, um, the ramifications of when a new weapon is introduced to the world. I mean, the world was a very different place pre, pre-guns, pre even our world. And, you know, God, I wish someone could take a time machine and go back and stop that from ever being invented. But here we are. And, you know, what she's talking about is the real world and like, Exactly as Percy said, the, the violence that will ensue, the unprecedented, unwarranted, and wanton violence that will ensue because of the existence of these things en masse, it's going to be irreparable. But um, I have a sn sneaking suspicion that unless they can take her out, it's going to happen regardless. So anyways, we see that uh, Percy did manage to at least escape her grasp, but he wasn't able to take the vestige. At least, well, now we know it was a fake vestige, but she still does have that cloak, which is super handy. Let's be 100. I'm trying to think of who in Vox Machina, who would do well with that cloak? It feels, I was going to say, it kind of feels like a Scanlan thing, but he already has a vestige. Who's not, who's, who's left? So we've got Vax has one. Grog, Scanlan. That's it, right? Those are the three. Oh, and uh, no, that's it. That's the three. So out of who's left, I don't think that's something that Kaylee would do well with because she is she is magic. So having something that absorbs and redirects probably wouldn't work well. I mean, maybe, maybe that's the vestige. Actually, yeah, I guess that's probably the, the vestige for, yeah, now that I think about it, that actually might be Percy's vestige. Actually, that would work for Percy because Percy doesn't have magical ability, right? Out of the magic users that are there. Oh, I keep forgetting, Vex has hers as well. So yeah, maybe it's Percy's vestige, that one, possibly the cloak because, oh no, I was thinking it's something to do with, um, the science, but no, that's all, that's all, uh, that's all Orthax. Anyway, so yeah, maybe that's going to be Percy's vestige. I could definitely see him making use out of that, especially with his skill set. So yeah, anyways, we, she got away because, uh, of course she couldn't deal with all of that Fox Machina at the same time, but she basically said to Percy that she hasn't given up on him accepting her offer. I think what it comes down to is that as smart as Ripley is, she realizes Percy's smarter. And what she wants to do is not gonna be accomplished without his brains, and she doesn't know anybody else who can do what he can do. So even though she's run away for now, I definitely think she's gonna reappear again at some point in order to get Percy to submit to her some way or another. I also feel like somehow she might end up working with Thordak because they both have a mutual interest at this point in getting Vox Machina to come to them. And then we saw Scanlan, poor Scanlan. He really did try to have a conversation with his daughter because, you know, he just, everything was kind of thrown at him last season as far as her existence. And I understand to some degree her anger and her feelings towards Scanlan, but I also think she's being slightly unfair because Scanlan did not know about her. From the memory serves, she had, he had no idea so yes, it's true that Scanlan might have broken his, her mother's heart, but I don't think at all that if Scanlan knew that she existed, he would have left her or at least disappeared entirely. Like maybe he wouldn't have been, uh, you know, a father that hunkered down and stayed there to be there, but he definitely would have checked in on her from time to time. He definitely wouldn't have left her completely. So anyways, point being, I do hope at some point she does give Scanlan a chance to at least be there like I think being a dad that time has passed but at least be a friend you know but we'll have to see but I did feel for him and I don't really blame him for taking this time to try to see her because how often can you do it and plus with all the stuff that they do and the near-death experiences they go through pretty much every other episode it's best that he takes the times he can to go and talk to her but yes other than that we got to see the amazing forces uh, in this town they the uh, security forces, they're no joke, just like uh, Sean said, but we met their leader and uh, they're no joke either. And thankfully they did hide the vestige. So yeah, sooner or later, Ripley's gonna figure out she's got a fake, but I don't know if she'll know where to go next. My guess is she's gonna follow Vox Machina though. So I hope Vox Machina is smart enough to keep their eyes open. Although it's gonna be much harder to tell that she's tailing them now because with that cloak, she can literally disappear. So. Anyway, it's going to be interesting. As I said, I just hope that if they get the opportunity to take Ripley out this time, they actually do it. I That's all I have to say. That's a dangerous woman to keep in this world. And I hate that. You know, I love to support a dangerous woman typically, but that's a little too dangerous even for me. But yeah, another good episode. We now know that the poor group has to head off to hell, literally have to go to hell in order to go and find this vestige. But 
I feel like there's gonna be more benefits to this trip than not. And it's a lot of fun, because you know, your girl loves a quest, so new quest, everybody! <laughs> Yay! But yeah, that was pretty much it for the episode, outside of, of course, you know, Scanlan and, not Scanlan, sorry, um, a little bit of Vex and uh, Percy getting a little closer. I think it's pretty clear that those two are gonna end up together. We got one kiss this season, so maybe we're gonna go for two. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll see if Trinket allows it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I'll see you in the next one.